Hello everyone, thank you for being here and for your great support. You guys have voted on a Sunrays tutorial, so that's what I'll do today. And uh, you noticed I usually paint landscape mode, but this time I'm doing vertical, something different. So I'm excited to uh, see what happens. And uh, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Okay, let's go over the materials needed for today. For paints, I like to use heavy golden acrylics, although I am working on uh, having my own paints created. I've been uh, testing and I found this amazing paint that I'm working with and they will soon be out. But for now, let's continue using golden acrylics and uh, any paint that you have will work, should work actually. But these are a little bit more high quality. Uh, so titanium white, carbon black, ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow medium, and naphtha red light. For brushes, we need this blending brush. I, uh, I'm gonna use two of these just to save time. You could just use one, but uh, just to save time, I like to have two of them. So one of those or two of those if you have them. Um, just these couple Artist Love brushes right here. This is an inch and this is, or I mean, this is an inch Artist Love brush right here. And then this is a half an inch. And so we're gonna use this to uh, blend and add some, you know, raise um, effect. And then last is the double round detail brush for the details. And that's it for the brushes. Very simple, not much needed for today. We need, of course, the palette, palette knife, a jar of water to put your brushes in when you're, not, when you're done using them so they won't dry out. And some paper towels. And if you do have this, great, use it. I like to use the hair blow dryer for my first layer of coat, lay down on the canvas to dry it out real quick so I could add more layers. And I believe that's all. Before we get started, I'd like to encourage you guys and uh, you know, there's so many different styles out there, but I want you to be okay with the way you create and whatever colors you, you have created on your palette. I want you to be confident in them and just have fun with it. Create your own clouds where you want them to be. And um, I'm just showing you the technique here. You could take that and then recreate it in your own style and have fun, see where it takes you. All right, so here's my palette and here's a few, three shades. First, we're gonna create some more shades, but Here's what I've got. I've got titanium white, a little bit of yellow, and a touch of red as well. You know, very small amount right here of red. And then uh, some white, a little more yellow as you could see, and just a touch more of red here for the second shade. And then here I have a little less titanium white, and then um, a little bit less of yellow, and then ultramarine blue. So we're gonna mix our first shade here. This will be our brightest color. Um, as our base. So we're, we're gonna lay down the base first, the background colors. Um, so you can see I added, um, I added a little bit, of, a lot too much red. So that's why you wanna make sure it's not too much, you know, red, just a touch. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is add more yellow here on my first shade here. Let's do that right now. I want it to be like a bright orange, okay? So right here, I just have a touch of yellow and I'm gonna mix that. I want it to be more orangey than pink. There you go. And then our second shade here should be darker orange color. And then our third shade, gonna mix that. 
should give, a, give, give us, it should give us, it should give us uh, the green, a lighter green. So I'm gonna actually add a little bit more white in here. There you go. Right there, just a little bit more white. It won't be too dark. We want a smoother, we want a smooth transition from the light and going into the darks. So this will be the brightest and then it's slowly transitioning into the, you know, the pink purplish colors into the darker sky in the bottom here. So let's create more shades. Okay, here's what I've got. I've got a little bit of red and just titanium white. And then here I have a touch of red, a touch of ultramarine blue and more white. And then a touch of black, very small amount, a little bit of uh, titanium white and then a lot more of the ultramarine blue right here. Let's mix our, this will give us a pink color, like a darker pink. What we want is a little bit darker than this green. We wanted to have that transition. There you go. Right there. And of course you can add, so I'm gonna add a little bit more white. I like to, you know, to, um, first lay down really quickly the shades that I think could look cool. And then I go over and add either whatever color I need to add. If I want it to be more brighter, then I would add white. If I wanted to, to have more pink in there, I would add a touch of more red, you know, and just mess around. And then, so I added just a little bit more white to make it a little brighter. Right there. We want, um, we want the transitions to be pretty smooth going from light to, you know, dark, darker. And so here we got red, ultramarine blue and white. Let's mix that. Should give us like a purplish color. I'm gonna add a little bit of more ultramarine blue here. Just a touch. Just a touch. Right here. And I want it to be a little more bluer. Right there. There you go. As you can see, it's getting a little, uh, you can see the transitions are getting a little darker each time we mix our shade. So you can see it right here. And now our final shade right here. Your colors doesn't have to be exactly like mine. I want to always remind you that um, the paintings will always turn out different. Even if I tried recreating my previous paintings or whatever, they're always going to turn out different. So, but here's the shade, shades that I have. And um, now I'm going to actually create uh, like a cloud dark for the, my dark clouds. So I'm going to create a darker shade and then I'll add a little bit of white on the side. Okay, right here. I added a little bit more black right here and an ultramarine blue and a red and a touch of white. This will be our darkest color on our palette. And this will be used for the clouds. There you go. 
And then I have just titanium white here, just in case I'll, I'll use it uh, later on. But let's, uh, while we have this fresh paint here on the palette, let's go ahead and put our first uh, background coat down on our canvas and uh, start blending the colors in. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fluffy brush. I have two of these, like I said, um, it speeds up the process quicker. So I usually use two, but if you, like I said, if you have one, that's fine. Just use the, the process that I've taught in my previous tutorials, how to clean your brush and use the paper towel to dry it out. But anyway, I'm gonna dab my brush in halfway, squeeze it out so it won't be too wet, but it's still a little wet as you can see. If I press, I'm barely pressing, you could see water in there, right? That's what we want. We don't want it to be dripping too much, but we want it to have it, you know, be a little wet like this. So it can run smoothly on the canvas. And what we're gonna do is lay down our brightest colors first, okay? So remember this orange, bright orange color? I'm gonna grab that paint right there, and then let's add it right here in the corner. And it's gonna run very smooth because I, my brush is wet. So I'm just gonna take it out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my second shade just around it, just around where I added. Maybe take it out like this. And then add it right here, just around where we left off like this. Okay, and then let's grab our third shade, this like green color, add it right underneath. underneath, maybe right in here. Okay, and then we're gonna add, then I'm gonna dip my tip in the water just a little bit, just a little bit so it can run smooth and grab my pink. And then I'm gonna add it right in here, this pink with the green, okay? Just like this. Don't worry about adding clouds yet. We're just getting the background done first. So like just about right there, okay? And then we're gonna grab our purple right here that we have and add it right underneath this pink. I'm always dabbing my brush like this, the tip of it, just on the water like this. Every time I move my brush away, that's what I'm doing to grab a little more water, just a tip, don't grab too much so it won't run down your canvas. You, you see my paint doesn't, isn't running, but it's just making the paint more, a little more wet. Um, that's what's nice about it. So I'm gonna add that purple. I'm gonna go in here and add it like this. And then I'm gonna add my final color here is blue, right? Right on the bottom of this purple, this blue. Okay. So maybe a little bit in here. Just a little bit, that's where the clouds will be. So grab this blue, add it right there on the bottom. Dab my brush a little bit water, grabbing more of this blue. And then here, I'm gonna add the dark cloud. So I'm gonna grab my black now, and I'm gonna make this dark. This will be like a background cloud far away, blending in. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some dark clouds up in here. And dab my brush in the water. Grab that black, or not, it's not black, it's like a dark blue color. You can't see it on the camera, but it's like, a, that's why I added blue and a little bit of red in there, so it won't be straight black. You could see it, it looks uh, very dark blue. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit in here. 
like this, and then here I'm gonna mix, let's go grab this purple. I'm gonna add this purple. And it's okay if I have a little bit of the black, you know, just grab it. It's gonna naturally create its own shades and shadows and mix it in with this orange, just like this. Mix it in like that randomly. Grab more of this purple and add it maybe underneath right in here. Okay, grab the black, blend it in, in here. More black, randomly add it right there. And then maybe I'm gonna grab this leftover purple, maybe add a cloud here, add a cloud like this, dab it in there. This is like a quick, easy, fast sketch, right? And add the remainder, the leftover black that we have here, just on top right here, just cover the canvas. Okay, now that our canvas is covered, we're gonna go ahead and add another layer, maybe some clouds here, and then maybe a few more like right there, darker ones. Okay, right there. So we have our quick, fast sketch as you could see and now I'm gonna grab my second brush right our second brush and I'm gonna start blending everything and I'm gonna start with the lightest areas first so I'm gonna start and I'm gonna work dry for now so my brush is dry I could have it a little bit damp but since I added water on my canvas um, I'm gonna first just um, work dry and just lightly press and carry the paint, you know, upwards, but I'm swirling and blending in the areas. Just going over the light areas first. Don't mix it in with the darks yet. Just with the light. This beautiful pink color. Just go over the lighter areas, okay? Don't focus on the darks yet. All right, now that we have our background blend in, you know, I didn't um, dab my brush in the water, it's still dry. What I'm gonna do next is dab it in lightly in the water, just the tip, okay? Just a tip, just a tip. And, you know, make sure it's not too wet. You could use a paper towel to get, you know, so it could be just a little damp. And now I'm gonna go over the darker areas. First start off with where the brighter areas are and just blend in some of those just lightly and don't blend everything leave some of them sharp like that okay we want some of this effects on the clouds to be pretty sharp too so right here lightly press don't blend too much
leave some of the sharper areas that like that. You want some of them to stand out a little more. So just roughly blend it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add more details later. But just go over. And roughly blend it in, okay? We're gonna add more clouds and things, texture in our clouds. So we got our first base coat down. Now I'm gonna use the hair blow dryer to quickly dry that layer down. All right, so now that the first layers are dry, don't worry about trying to have it perfect with the clouds because that's where we're gonna add more clouds and detail them, okay? So this is, we just wanted the first base, kind of like the sketch real quick of our, how we want our uh, light to be, you know, the colors to be in the background. But now we're gonna add more details. So now I'm gonna grab a half an inch uh, uh, artist soft brush right here, dab it in the water halfway, squeeze it out so it could be damp. So my brush is damp. And now, now I'm gonna add a little more clouds. So I'm gonna grab more of this you know, the leftover, leftover paint that you have on a palette should be fine. And if it's drying out, just add a little bit more water. That's why I dab my brush in the waters because it makes it, uh, it makes it wet again and the paint lasts longer. So I'm gonna grab this green and uh, mix it in. Let's mix it in with this uh, purple. Okay, just a little bit of it with the green. And then let's add a few little clouds, background clouds in here, connecting maybe far away. Maybe there's some in here. Just with water and the screen. So maybe in here. And if you like your placing of the clouds the way you did them, please leave it. You can add the clouds wherever you want them to be okay. Um, Sometimes when you do your first blending, natural clouds will appear. So I'm gonna grab more of this purple, make it a little darker, and then add some in here. Maybe connect, maybe have one in here. Kinda of going like this. Very, very light. Okay. Have more of this purple. Like I said, if it's drying out, grab a little more water. And then let's add some in here. I'm gonna actually grab a little more purple. And let's add some in here. A few little darker ones. Okay, I'm gonna dab my brush in the water just a teeny bit. Now I'm gonna grab more of this purple. See, I'm running out, that's okay. Connect it. Go over some of these clouds in here. I'm kind of just following my shadows wherever naturally it created like some clouds when I blend it in with uh, my fluffy brush. It created some of these lighter shades, shadows and things like that. So I'm just going over and just out uh, with a lighter, you know, lighter color and creating like depth into my clouds. See right there, there's like a little cloud. So I'm gonna connect that and, you know, lightly press and just fade it out. Create this natural cloud there in the back. So yeah, that's basically how I draw my uh, shapes of the clouds first. Just go over, add a, a few more details and shadows in my clouds. Okay, continue. So I'm gonna grab more of this green, mix it in with the purple. Maybe go in here, grab my brush lightly in the water. Maybe go 
down here like this. And I'm just kind of following the the patterns of my clouds where I see that there could be like a shadow or something, you know, in my clouds. So I'm just creating um, random shapes. See, like this is random, right? So when, when I drew that, I just, what I like to do is clean my brush out, dry it out real quick, using the same brush, just dry it out. And then I'm gonna press a little harder and blend it, everything in. Just blend those areas. Blend it in, carry them out a little so they can be lightly showing, like so it could glow from the cloud, you know? That's what we want. We want that glow. If you have a little bit of the orange, grab some of the orange and let's add some of the orange glow effect on some of the areas around here. We want the, when the sun is hitting, we want some of these to stand out a little more. Um, so let's grab that orange and lightly dab it in. I grabbed a little more water so I can blend this orange so it won't dry quickly. But as you could see, my brush isn't too wet. Okay. Maybe even carry it out all the way on top like this. So, draw out the brush real quick. Just dry it out with a paper towel. And do the same thing. Blend it in. Blend everything in. So it can create this glow effect, okay? So grab more of this orange. And it'll natu naturally give you these cool, like, shadows and things in the clouds. Maybe add a little orange glow behind this cloud. Split them up evenly. Now I'm gonna grab this green and continue on adding a few more highlights right here. Split some of these clouds apart. That's what we're doing. We're just creating little shadows in the background from the uh, of the clouds where the light hits them from the sun is like out there and it's hitting these clouds so we want some of these brighter areas to appear right there I'm gonna grab more of this orange and split this one right here Maybe like that. Use your finger if you have to. Carry this a little bit upwards. You see, I'm randomly adding them, these highlights. Maybe this goes up like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna continue adding the darker areas. We're gonna come back and add more uh, of the lighter, you know, sh areas in the clouds with a different color. But right now I'm gonna dab my brush lightly in the water um, so it could be a little damp. Grab some of this darker black here that we have. And I'm going to create some of the darker clouds in here. Start from... Um, 
the bottom. I wouldn't add too much in here because the glow, we want that glow, that pr light purple in, in our cloud right there. Um, but as we go down, it gets a little darker. So let's add a few of those darker ones in here randomly. So I'm gonna dab just the corner of my brush, grab more of this black, and, and it doesn't have to be this, I mean, not. I'm sorry, I'm saying black, but this shade that we mixed here, um, it doesn't have to be exactly this shade. You see, I'm randomly, my brush is already mixed with all these different sh uh, shades that I used so it gave me this darker, like a very dark, almost like a gray color, right? And that's fine. We just want a darker shade, okay? This is how I always paint. Um, I always, and it naturally creates these darker shadows and things in my clouds. Um, so it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna add a little bit in here, just the darker ones. Okay, maybe some in here. Lightly connect them, maybe. Let me grab some of this pink here. Some more of this dark. Just randomly add your clouds where you want them to be and how you want them to look, okay? So I'm gonna add a few more darker ones here. Maybe like this, it's going up like that. Maybe another one right in here. There you go. I'm gonna dry up my brush and just press a little harder and blend around some of these darker areas. So it can blend into the, with the blue, okay? Just on some areas. Don't blend in everything. We want some of those sharp edges from the clouds to appear. I'm just pressing a little harder. Grab the orange, and dab my brush in the water. Grab this light orange and add it underneath some of these clouds right here. It's the glow from the light hitting onto my clouds. Okay, not everywhere. We want it just on some areas, okay? Just on some areas. Maybe even grab the lighter one. I uh, dab my brush in the water so it can soften the paint out. And just add it right underneath. You can split some of these. Um, clouds apart. see it's just a rough rough sketch here now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white just white okay that I have here and I'm gonna dab my brush in the water just the side that on the tip you could see grab more of this white um, don't worry if your brush turns into a different color but just we want this lighter color this uh, white right and we want to add a little bit on the bottom right here, some of the lighter clouds. Okay, and that's a little too much, but that's okay. This is what I do. I just uh, dab my brush in the water, clean it out with a paper towel. Get a new one if you have to. And press a little harder and carry that white. Um, and I added that white on top of the dark areas, as you could see. Um, and I'm pressing a little bit harder. And my brush is damp, so it's, it's carrying that lighter paint nicely. 
away. So I'm going to dab my brush slightly on the corner of my um, dab it in so it won't be too wet. Um, so I'm going to clean that out a little more. Um, and just carry this white around. And I'll blend it in there. And it'll naturally create this glow, uh, lighter glow clouds. Maybe add another one in here. For fun. playing with this lighter color right there and then adding maybe some in here maybe one right here on the bottom okay going up like that okay now I'm gonna clean my brush dry it out I mean just dry it out right there and I'm gonna press a little harder and just around the areas where I added the white, just press a little harder and carry that um, paint, blend it in with your background paint. Now a lot of this is going to be covered with um, the rays, the glow. This is just creates some sort of, you know, um, shadows and things far away. So right there, just a few of those, okay? We don't need to have that much. Just play around, see what you can create. Maybe a few lighter ones right in here. I'm randomly adding where I think it would look pretty cool. So I have no plan. I don't know how this is gonna turn out so far. I'm just eyeballing it and seeing if I like it, where it's going. And I'm just having fun adding clouds can be randomly added anywhere you want okay so I'm gonna continue with this black again if it starts to dry out dab your brush in the water mix it in a bit and you will have that shadow or that black color again and I'm gonna add some of the darker ones in here just add it lightly Press and add that darker, some of these darker clouds in there. Okay, just like that. And add a few more in here. And add a little uh, dark ones in here. Just on some of the clouds, it creates, you know, um, it makes the clouds stand out a bit more when you add these kind of uh, shadows and things in your sky. I'm going to add some in here. my blue dab my brush slightly in the water just the tip of it and then grab more of this darker shade and I want to add some clouds coming out like this all right and then maybe in here lightly you could see maybe it's starting to come out like this and goes down a bit like that. See, it's very light and not everywhere, just on some of the areas. Okay, now I'm gonna dry the brush out. Dry it out. Just dry it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. And blend, press a little harder and blend those darks in so it's not gonna stand out too much, okay? So I'm gonna blend those sharp areas. I 
And then I'm gonna dab my brush in the water. Grab a little bit of this orange and maybe add some orange in there in some of the areas of these clouds, just randomly underneath, wherever, so it could create a glow. So grab more orange. Let's add some in here. Like that. And then maybe in here, some of this orange. Clean up my brush, dry it out, I mean, and press a little harder and blend those areas out. And you could use any type of brush that you're comfortable with doing that, with blending the clouds and everything. Um, there's different types. There's more rounded versions. Um, I have like this rounded version right here. Sometimes I use this also to do that. It's rough also right here. I know some of you might be using different kinds, um, but um, for the, the, the tutorial to make it uh, simple and basic, I'm just, this works as well. So I, I use this a lot. This is my main, main brush that I use to do that, um, but I also sometimes experiment and do that with different brushes as well. Um, so now I'm gonna grab just straight out of the tube some yellow. Okay, some yellow. And I'm gonna clean my brush out. Use the same brush um, and grab some of this yellow, right? Maybe mix it in with the white. We're gonna create some very bright ones right in there. Okay, just randomly adding white and a little bit of yellow. Maybe it goes down and connects to, or connects here and it goes up like this. Just around all right add some in here yellow and a little bit of white some in here so I'm gonna add yellow and white and I'm gonna make this area brighter okay make it a little brighter fade it out don't don't make that area bright just right here in the middle and fade it out in there okay that'll make it um, glow a little bit more. And sometimes you know, blending it with, with uh, the fluffy brush really you know, blends it in nicely. So I'm gonna grab my fluffy brush real quick, squeeze the water out so it won't be too, too wet. And then just grab a little bit of the yellow on the tip. And as you can see, my brush is damp and Right there, that's good enough. And I'm gonna just lightly press and blend all this stuff that I added here. You can go over some of these clouds, okay? With this yellow here. But just blend that and bring it down maybe a bit, okay? Just a bit, like that. Don't cover, don't, you know, cover everything. And 
randomly carry that. Since my brush has more of the, uh, since it's more wet, it's not carrying too much of the yellow. I'm just carrying lightly and blending that yellow in with the purple so it could create this nice smooth transition. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna grab some more white here and add it right in here, right in the middle. I want that to be pretty bright. I'm gonna create more of that white right there in the middle. There. But for now, I'm gonna quickly dry that out and we're gonna add some more details. All right, so now I'm gonna, you know, go over, um, maybe grab some of this just on the tip, a little bit of white, just pure white, and go over and maybe lightly create more like depth into your clouds, connect some of these clouds, you know, separate them lightly if you want, okay? This is, uh, you don't have to do this part. This is just the part where you can um, add as much, you know, I'm gonna grab some white right now and create some of these glowy areas in my clouds. Maybe add some yellow and a little bit of white in here. You know, create that very, that glowy effect from the light, sunlight. of the yellow and a little bit of white. Blend it in there. Maybe add some in here lightly. You know, create some shadows in your clouds. Don't just leave them plain. And that's what the darker and lighter um, colors do when you add it, add it in your clouds. Okay, right there, I'm gonna add a few more glowy areas. Just yellow and a little bit of white. See how that created that little nice light hitting that part of the cloud? I'm gonna do that. That's what white does right underneath. If it's too much, clean it out with a finger and I'm gonna add some of this just pure white, okay? Pure white right in here gonna create our uh, glow now. This will be the brightest area, so we want just white, okay? Just white right there. Dab it in there evenly, you know, like spread it out as far as you want it to go, wherever you want that light to be. Okay, and I'm gonna clean my brush out. With, I dabbed it in the water a little bit and just, just blend this white out. We're gonna add more of it in a little bit, but I'm gonna blend a little bit of this area around everywhere. So it can look smooth. And now, before I continue, I'm gonna grab my detail brush now. My uh, D3000. 
detail brush, dab it in the water, and grab white, just white. Maybe mix it in with a yellow a little bit, but it's gonna be more of a white. And then I'm gonna go over some of these clouds and add little details, you know, on them like this, and then blend it out with my finger. Or add it around this cloud. Just with water and white around this cloud lightly. Maybe it goes in like this. That's where the sun is hitting uh, the parts of the clouds where it's the most uh, brightest. So not, not every area will have this kind of effect. Just on some. Okay, maybe go up a little bit in here lightly. Right. Use your finger to kind of wipe it out and blend it in. It's a quick way of blending. Dab your brush in the water, grab more white, add some white in here, connect it. Maybe you let it go up a little bit like that. Okay, maybe connect these a little and fade it out like this. You randomly add them in there because that's where the light is hitting. So we want those to pop out and white helps us do that. Not everywhere, you don't want to go too far up there. Just around this. Maybe go up in here a little. And I'm dabbing my brush in the water so it can run smoothly and grabbing more of the white. And then I'm gonna just carry that maybe up like this. All right. Maybe it comes down like this. Grab more white. Split this cloud apart. This will be the brightest area. And then continue adding your bright spots. Dabbing my brush in the water. And now I'm, I'm gonna use a little bit more yellow. As you could see, I'm gonna add it right in here. This is more yellow. It's not as white. Dab my brush in the water and add it right underneath, right underneath this cloud. And fade it out. Let's attach this cloud right in here lightly, like this. Now, I'm not gonna go up too high, but maybe add a little bit more glow right in here. All right, grab the yellow, continue on. Separate your clouds how you want them to look. Maybe this goes up a little bit and comes up like this. Who knows? Oops. All right.
right? Split your clouds up. Have fun. Maybe this cloud attaches right in there. All right. Continue using this yellow now. And let's create a few more glowy ones in here. Maybe it attaches to this one. Remember this cloud that we added right in here? Like that. So let's grab our yellow and continue and maybe attach it right in here. Remember some of these darker ones we added? So just with yellow and water, attach it right in here like this. Not everywhere, just on some of the areas, some of the clouds, okay? It just creates this beautiful, beautiful glowy effect. You know, like the sun is hitting part of the cloud and it's, it makes it look 3D. That's what it's doing. So, continue using the, more of this yellow and then add a few more brighter areas in here. Dab my brush in the water and add a few more. You see I'm randomly, I'm barely pressing but I'm randomly adding the textures and things lighter areas around these clouds okay maybe a little more in here use your finger to blend everything out I'm gonna grab a little bit of white right here and go over this cloud, remember this one? We kind of left it hanging there, but it's still very bright in here, so the light is hitting this cloud really nicely. We want this cloud to pop out a little more. Like this, okay. Maybe split this up and let it go up like this. You know, have fun with it, play around. Maybe in here, I'm just gonna dab my brush in the water and just use water. Um, it has a little bit of paint already in my brush, so I just dabbed it in the water so I can create some of these shadows far away right here as we go up. Right in there, okay. Okay. Next, I'm gonna continue and add maybe a few into this cloud and then maybe a few into this cloud, just a few. Let's add some in here. Some of this just straight yellow. I want this to be pretty sharp in here. Okay. 
And now, let's grab just red straight, straight out of the tube. And I'm gonna grab our artist soft brush, clean it out, use our paper towel, and our brush is still wet, right? It's still wet, just on the tip right here. Grab a little bit, just a little bit of this um, red, just a little bit, okay? Don't grab a lot. So I'm gonna make sure my brush is damp. Um, right there, not too much, right there. So it can look almost pink. And just right in here where we added the orange, add some red glow, red glow. Just put it in a little bit of this red on here. Use your finger to blend it out. And we want some of this red in here. It just makes it more, um, it really brings out this area, this uh, sunny area to glow a little more when you add that red. And you can use your finger or your brush if you want to kind of quickly blend those areas in. Maybe add a few red areas right in here, maybe in here. And then I'm going to continue using this red lightly and add it, just blend it in everywhere around the lighter areas right here. Just on some areas, okay? It's very, very, you can't even see it on, on, on the video, but it really does bring out the glow. Okay, so now this is the fun part. We're going to grab our same brush or half an inch artist off brush, clean it out, and grab titanium white and a little bit of water. I dabbed it just a little bit, and just a little bit of the white. First, we're gonna start out uh, by adding some of the rays, the, the glowy things in the sky. So what we're gonna do is, wherever you see the lighter areas, just wherever you want them to be, yours could be a little different. And don't use your wrist, but use your whole arm to kind of like lightly create some straight lines, right? So I'm gonna start right here, and since the light, um, let's do, let's, okay, so since the light will go like this, right, shine down like this, and we're gonna um, create, let's start from here, create a line that goes like this. You see, just, just fade it out. Don't even try to make it too perfect, okay? Just fade it out. All right, so grab a little more white. Don't grab too much. Just grab a little bit, all right? Maybe right here, remember? All right, just on some of the areas. We're gonna go over in detail in a little bit, but just Just this white. And I'm adding more white in the beginning. You could see I'm adding more white in the beginning. Maybe bring this one down, try to bring it down all the way. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more water just on the tip, not too much. And I didn't grab any white because my brush already has more white in there. And just bring it down like this. Okay, this is the fun part. Okay, and then dab the brush, grab a teeny bit more white, just a teeny bit and then maybe add some in here. Maybe there's one that is kind of picking out right in here. 
and just flick it out, okay? Use your finger if you have to. And Okay. You can see it's very light. I'm not even adding that much. Just with water, okay? Dab your brush in the water, grab the white, and then just on some of the areas. Whoops, clean it out. So it won't be too strong. But I'm gonna leave that. Maybe right here. So I'm gonna clean my brush because I have too much white now. Clean it out, dry it out, and just go back and forth and blend that in. So it won't be too much white. Okay. So continue. Just with water and white. Very simple. Use your finger to blend that in. Maybe this one goes all the way like this. And notice as I'm as I'm going up, I'm kind of going more towards, you know, I'm not keeping it the same. Like this one is going down a bit more and this one's going to be very much down. And this is where I'm going to grab my inch artist love brush right here. Dab it in the water halfway, squeeze it out so it won't be too wet. And we're going to grab more of the white, just white right now. And we're going to use the corner. I'm not going to go flat. I'm going to use the like the sideways and create our big one. OK, let's create our big one. Let's go like this. You see how I did that? I just use my wrist and just... Don't worry about trying to, you know, just go back and forth, split it up, maybe grab more white and water and add one right in here. Just water. Dab it in the corner of your brush. Grab more white, just a little bit, okay? And then let's let's go down a little bit here, like down like this. All right, grab more white. Dab it in the water. Grab more white. And maybe here it comes down like this. Just with water. Go over, maybe blend this in so it won't be too white. Just with water. And go up and down like this and grab more white. Don't worry about making it perfect just yet. We're just adding our rays where we want them to be. Add more white right here on top. I'm dabbing my brush in the corner and grabbing this white right there. And I'm gonna add another very glowy one 
all the way down. Okay. Maybe here. And that's it. I'm not gonna, maybe other one in here. I'm not gonna add too much on this side. Just with water and a shade of white, right? So we have this very bright one here. I'm gonna blend that in, go back and forth, blend it in, it's still wet. Just press a little harder and blend that in so it won't be too strong. Go up and down like this. So I'm gonna grab more white because I want to create more glow right in here because this is the open area. So I'm going to add more white in there. So I'm going to add more white right on top, right in here. do is since I have this red here remember we had the red I'm gonna clean out my brush real quick and I'm gonna squeeze it out with a paper towel and then grab some of this red just pure red out of the tube right there just a little bit you could see just pure red and, and water my brush is damp and I'm gonna add it right on the some of these areas going down like this. So I'm gonna dab my brush in water. That will really make your, you know, um, rays to pop out, okay? Just on some, some areas, not everywhere. So maybe right in here, see that nice pink effect that really makes your glow pop out, okay? Almost like a rainbow. Maybe some in here, and that's it. Not everywhere, not everywhere. Okay, grab a little more, add it right in here. More red, maybe add it right in here. After I added that red, after I'm done with it, and I like where it, how it's looking. What's cool is, um, since th you're working wet, um, you know, wet, it's when you add your brush is damp and wet, you can move that line and you can make it as straight as you want by just going back and forth, back and forth. You can move it around and add, add it as straight as you want. and. Um, you know, have fun with it. And now what I'm gonna do is grab yellow, straight yellow out of the tube. And I'm gonna clean my brush out real quick, the same, using the same brush. Just cleaned it out. And uh, 
you know, after you clean it out, just dab it like this so it won't be too wet on your paper towel. And we're gonna grab some yellow now. Some yellow, straight out of the tube. And let's add some yellow right in here, right in the bottom, going up like this. Maybe some in here, maybe some in here. You know, just on some of the areas. Blend it in with your white. Okay, that'll really make out your your uh, glow, your light to really shine, come to life. So maybe add some in here, just yellow and water. Maybe some yellow in here. You blend that all, all, all that in in there. Just a little bit of water and yellow on the tip. there. This is the fun part. I think I grabbed a little bit of the red so it um, was blending some of the red in there. I'm going to clean it up again. Just with water. Clean it out a little bit. And continue on just a little more I'm gonna add a little more yellow right in here I want a little glow going on right in here so dab it in the water just get lightly on your brush this yellow and just put it down like this okay and you know, have fun, have fun, add as much light and, uh, you know, colors as you want. I'm gonna dim this with just white a little bit. There you go. And now with a detail brush, this is where you can go back and have fun with the details. And what you do is you just grab white, just white, dab it in the water so it could be pretty wet and swirl it onto your detail brush. And then go back and go over, make sure this is dry. So I'm gonna quickly dry it so I won't smear the, the, the blending, okay? Okay, and now I'm gonna, you know, dab my brush in the water, grab this white and go over some of these areas and make them more intense, add more, you know, glow and just fade it out using your finger. Okay, and then just so it could look more intense. Maybe some in here. Maybe in here. Maybe these are connecting like that. Dab my brush in the water. Grab more white. That just makes them pop out a little more. Maybe don't have it too evenly, okay? Don't, maybe make this area a little more glowy, add more white in there, you know, so it won't be too, too perfect, you know what I mean? Maybe some in here, just water and white. Okay. 
maybe this one goes a little bit lower, you know, like this, all the way, and fades out in there, who knows. And some of these, you can go over some of them and make some of these stand out a little more, you know? Just with water and white. So that you can have some, some of these shiny areas to glow. Oh, I think that's my crock pot. I think the the soup is all baked and boiled and ready to go. But we're almost done here, so it's uh, perfect timing. I'm gonna enjoy my uh, soup ad. All right, you can add as much of those uh, rays as you want on your sky. Have fun with it. This is how I create my rays and how I do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for tuning in and being the great support. Uh, see you guys next week. Take care and God bless.